So your thumb should be flagged tight against your pec. Do we have a consistent grouping happening now? Fire! Fighting is what? Elbows in. I don't flag my elbows out. Okay? Elbows are in. I'm going to come up here, elbow in. That's going to orient my muzzle directly into the, this area of my target if we were head to head. So tomorrow it'll all make sense when we grab each other, start tossing each other around and trying to get a gun out in the middle of that. Okay? Also, it avoids this, putting the gun into that space where now that gun is whoever gets it first. I might have a hold of it, doesn't mean I'm going to stay having hold of it, okay? This back here gives me more options. My whole body is glued to this gun now. It's easier for me to fight and retain it. Make sense? So we're going to be shooting from here. Here's how it's going to work. <clears throat> We've never had anybody shoot anything other than the target when we go through this process. You guys are at or above the normal level of a, of a first time student that comes to like an ECQC or something like that. So I have no concerns, but we just want to get everybody on the same page. Make sense? So here's the commands, right? I'm going to tell you go to the one. You're going to go to the one. It means you're going to get a grip, a fighting grip on the pistol. I'm going to tell you to come to the two. It means you're going to come up right here and you're going to feel a little tightness in your shoulder. That thumb's going to be against your pec right there. This allows the slide to reciprocate without getting hung up on clothes, your testicles, or anything else. Keeps it off of your body. Okay? I'm going to tell you to check the bore line to the target and make sure there's nothing in between. Make sense? Then you're going to touch off one round when I tell you to. All right? Or whoever gives the command, if it's me or Z. All right? You'll be told, fire one round. All right? And then you're going to check it again and then you're going to recover back to the holster. We're going to do this 10 times. Okay. If you've never shot this close to a target, it's going to be a little different for you. If you have a compensated pistol, you have a ported pistol, it's going to be a little different for you. All right. I'm just telling you now. All right. It's going to get interesting. Okay. So, but the thing is like everything else we do, the first time you do it shouldn't be when you really got to do it, okay? So, again, one, fighting grip on the pistol. Two, thumb pectoral index. We're gonna ask you to check your bore line, check the target, make sure there's nothing between those two things, and I'm gonna tell you, fire one round. You're gonna press that trigger, check your results, and then you're gonna go back to the holster, tell you to recover. Make sense? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Again, do not freak out. There's going to be a little bit of blast. Yeah, you're going to be right down in this area on the target. So it's, it's going to be fun. And then we're going to go ahead and work our way into the step back drill. All right. So we're, like we were doing yesterday, where you're going to come from a, uh, a guard or a what we call a three, which is where the, the hands collect the pistol together right here. And then drive out under your dominant eye into the target. Sights come up a line. And you put accurate fire on. Any questions so far? Look at Bald Eagle. Oh, that's pretty cool. America. America. That means God approves of what we're doing. <laughs> Hells yeah. yeah. Now, the other thing I did not touch on is going to be the position of your left hand or your offside hand. If you're, if you're a lefty, then it's going to be your right hand. Okay? So your non-firing hand is going to simply grab the back of your neck and put your elbow as close to the front of your face as you can. Now, there's a bit of an artifice here because of training. So the headgear doesn't allow you to get your elbow around in front of your nose like you'd want it. You know, in a, in a fighting situation, I want my elbow in front of my nose to shut them down. Okay? For this, for the purpose of what we're doing today, just do the best you can. All right? That elbow also avoids, uh, I'll give you guys a couple of things that you don't want to do when you work retention shooting. You do not want to put your hand on the target for obvious reasons. All right? So 
this kind of stuff where you see guys doing this and they're getting the gun out at the same time, it's just a matter of time. It's, yeah, it's just a matter of time for something bad happens, okay? So, we're gonna do this. All right, so my elbow's gonna touch the target. When my elbow touches the target, that's my start position. All right, and then the pistol's holstered. One, all right, so I'm gonna tell you, go to the one. Come to the two, thumb pectoral index, right? I'm gonna tell you to check the bore line, check your target, make sure there's nothing in between those things, right? So you fire one round. You're gonna fire one round. That's how you check your hits. That's how you recover. Got it? Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Z's gonna go through it live. What's one thing that's uh you might have to do with that opposite hand as well? <coughs> sure. You might have to get here. All right? Mm -hmm. Or pull it behind it. Are we gonna do it behind for this? Yeah, you can just leave it behind it for now. That way we don't worry about just that right to now. Uncomplicate some things. All right. In your own, so here's the thing too guys, real quick, so what is training drive? Practice. Training reveals what? Things that we need to work on in practice, right? So you go to training, you figure out things you expect, I expect to fail in training. If I'm not failing in training, then I just had a good time, right? I come to train, I fail, cool man, I go back at night, write down my little journal or my book or whatever, I'm like hey, you know, next year I need to work on this, 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 and this. And then I design a practice program to address those deficiencies. Make sense? Yeah. So we can't get into everything you're going to run into, but one of the things that's going to come up is tomorrow for sure is how to get this thing out or get whatever out while you're piled up with somebody and there's clothing in the way because we just can't walk around open carrying, right? So how do I get this out? That's something we'll work on tomorrow. Today, just don't have the time, man. All right? I'm not trying to shortchange you, but... We'll cover it tomorrow a little bit, but today, live fire, we're just going to focus on this part. One to two, and make it around without putting a hole in anything else but the target. Right on? Mm -hmm. Before I go live, Paul, I'm going to show them yeah, yeah. where you're going to start off. The position Guys, come in. Off in. I'm not shooting yet, right? Just I want you all to see where you're going to be when the targets are the other way, right? Starting here, right, Paul? Yes, sir. So he's going to go ahead and get his elbow in place, so go ahead and put your elbow spike up on the target. So his left, toe, left elbow is coming up, and he's got that standoff right there. So come to the one, come to the two, come to the pectoral index. See how he's, he should feel kind of tight in here, elbows in. I'm checking him a little bit before we let him just free reign, right? All right. Check the, uh, the space between your muzzle and the target. Make sure it's all clear. If it's clear, fire one round. I won't go live yet. I'll do it this way when I come back, when I turn the other way. But I wanted to show them where I am in relation to the target. See how I'm starting here? Yeah. I have them draw around, then I'll turn mm -hmm. this way and do it. Right. But I want to see how I am how I am in relation to the target. You see where you're going to be? Yeah. So you're going to be up. Nose, nose. You're going to be here, and then here. That's your one, right? Right. So they're starting here, and then one mm -hmm. onto the to the gun, correct? Yep. Yeah. All right. Got it. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. All right. Keep the target around. All right, you guys want to circle around? Don't back up. Where are you going? Yeah, come on up Your here. My gun's going to be in that target. Right. In a Not his target. Your target. Not my hand going. All right, you guys ready? All right, so come to the onesie. Come to the two. All right, check the space between your bore line and the target. If it's clear, fire one round. Check your hits and recover. All right, got it. Just like that. He said, check my bore line. What did I do? Turn look at my bore line. If I was doing this, I would notice, right? Because I'm looking at it. You see between that bore and that target, I'm clear. Make sense? Yep. 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 Hold it back. We're airing on the side of safety, right? I'm not trying to push the envelope. That's why I'm high and tight. That's why my thumb's there. If I'm getting the same spot, it's a touch point. Theoretically, it's going to hit the same spot every time because I'm bringing my gun to the same spot every time. Sights are not, right? I know it's here, it's there. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. Anybody done ECQC? Okay, so we call, the thing we call in-fight weapon access was just trying to get the tool into play in the middle of a fight. Here's the thing, speed is not that big of, of a factor. Consistency is a huge factor and certainty. Knowing that, that I'm gonna be able to get it out and consistently put it in the same place and be able to put rounds on. So that's what we're building here. Don't worry about speed. Who's ever seen uh, 
people's heard of retention shooting, right? In close shooting, you probably see different techniques, different approaches. In the Army and Special Forces, a course that we took, they teach you here. Now, what's the potential issues with this? Guns away. This would be great, like if I'm just standing here and I'm cowboy shooting and know there's, there's a target over there, and I just, boom, boom, I can just move my wrist, do whatever I want. But as soon as Paul goes to mess with me and I'm fighting, I don't have a lot of control. My failure point is that wrist, that gun, it takes this much to change uh, the direction of that board, right? There's not really anything connected to it except that one pivot point. I don't trust in that. I when go he puts here. it up in here, now watch what happens. We're locked up. I'm trying to grab this. He's still got hit. If I on shoot, me. all he's got to do is turn his body because these things are glued together. That keeps that muzzle on. Him. That's way stronger. Now, what's another factor? What's what? What are our firearm safety rules that we abide by? Besides the trigger, besides the bore, besides treating it as if it's loaded. What do we think about? No, it's fine. So it. Paul's dangerous ass, right? And he's trying to take my gun. <clears throat> And I'm here, and am I going to be aware of what's going on back here? So if my bullet is going any direction, maybe it's still free and clear of me, but it's going up through his body and going that way, right? Where does it go from there? Who knows? But if I'm here, I maintain that angle because I've got the same spot every time. And I know even if I miss Paul, where is it in impacting? It's not impacting in me. It's not impacting the people. There's a ground. Hopefully, if it's concrete, it might ricochet, but... Chances are it's going down that way. Less risk for everybody around me if I'm in a situation. Oh, no, Paul. I even hit him in his knee, foot, whatever. Right. If I don't hit him anywhere, it's not affecting anybody else if I miss. Would you agree that you don't want less things to think about if somebody's trying to whoop your ass and take your gun? Yeah. Yeah. Do I need to worry about this? No. No, no. here. And the second we move this much, he's going to come right to the three. Boom, 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 boom. Right? And we we'll already worked out yesterday. So, this dude just Shoot. stepped into oh. a world of shit. He probably should have just left you alone. So, as William April would say, he failed the selection process. <laughs> he picked the wrong victim. Sorry, did the wrong <laughs> Exactly. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to get on the targets. We're going to run two relays. Alright, so we have 13 targets. Eyes and ears. Alright, are you guys ready? Now, here's what's going to happen. We're going to do it dry. You have a live gun. Yes, I know. So it's not completely dry. You're going to bring that pistol to the two. When I tell you, you're going to bring the pistol to the two. I want you to practice checking the bore to target line. And then we're going to go back to the holster. We're going to recover. We're going to do that once or twice just to kind of get used to the movement. And then we're going to go live. All right, are you guys ready? Go to the one. You're on that gun? Right. You got that up? Plug the back of the head. Elbows against the target? Let's see how tight it is. Go to the two. Your thumb should be against your pectoral. Flag that thumb up. Flag that thumb, thumb up. Thumb flagged so. up against your pectoral. Check the board to the target line. Is there anything between you and the target? Hi one tight. of the rules of uh, gun safety is, uh, one of Cooper's rules, right, is know your target what's beyond it. But in the world we live in now, you got to know what's in between you and your target. It could be your child. Flag your thumb up. And you guys know what this is, right? Flag this up. This is a flag thumb. Thumb up. All right. Recover. Recover. Was your shoulder a little bit? Was your shoulder feeling a little bit of that? It should. Your shoulders should feel a little uncomfortable because it's all wound up. If you were in powerlifting, this would be, you know, a fully loaded position. Right? Waiting for the ref to say, oh. Just taking the safety off, then the thumb right back up, right? All right, are we ready? Yeah. All right, we're going to do it one more time, dry. One more time. All right, ready? Go to the one. Come to the two, thumb pectoral index. Flag. All right, check your board to the target. Board to target. Is that space clear? There should be nothing in between you. Tomorrow, the only thing between you and your board should be the bad guy's, the other person's body. Not your body. No parts of your body. Yeah, glasses are on, right? Glasses are tight. Make sure your glasses aren't falling loose off your face. Hey, listen, I'm going to give you a hint for the guys with the bunny thousand. You better have your glasses tight. You better. Comps. 
Flag the thumb. Guys that have comps on their pistol. Make sure that you have wraparound eye pro. Okay? Where's Tony? Alright. Recover. Alright. But you're still high. Alright, I'm ready. Make sure they're not out here. This is presenting to them, right? There you go. Alright, guys. That was on the tank. You're uncomfortable. Plus. Go to the one. To the two, thumb pectoral index, flag thumb, elbow tight. Check the relationship between the bore and the target. Should be nothing in between you. Are all is clear? Fire one round. Recover. I feel the earth move under my feet. Go to the one. Go to the two. Thumb pictorial index, check your borderline, check the target, nothing in between you. Fire one round. Oh my goodness! Recover. Go to the one. Two. Check your borderline to the target, nothing between you. Fire! Recover. Back you guys can step off that target and put it back in the hole. Oh, yeah. yeah. so Alright, let's go two more times just like that. Go to the one. Time. Yeah. Go, to go to the two. Thumb patrol index. Board and target. Should be clear. Nothing between you. Fire one round. Recover. Go to the one. Two. Check that space, more than target, should be clear. Fire! If you and I are tied up right here, if I get to here, I know exactly where my rounds are going. If I get to here, I know exactly where my rounds are going. If we're on the ground, if I'm here, and I get here, I know exactly where my rounds are going. Because every time I do this, they go here. Make sense? <coughs> All right. That's the importance of that. Okay? That's why we want this. So you should have a very consistent patterning happen. Make sense? Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you to draw. When I tell you to draw, I want you to go all the way up to the two. I want you to check on your own. I'm not going to tell you to check. And I'm going to tell you to fire. Go! Fire! Recover! Repeatability, right? So you absolutely know if I get here, even if I, I pepper sprayed this fool and I got cross contaminated, I can't see jack shit, but I got a hold of him, and we're right here. What does that mean? You got control. I can burn him up, man. Show him, Paul. <laughs> All right, ready? Here we go. Watch. All right, guys. Next group's gonna step up. Here's what's gonna happen. Watch. You're not going to do this. I just want you to see consistency. So I'm right here. I'm locked in here, right? If something happens, so I'm actually going to put my hand here and simulate almost an underhook, right? Make sense? So even though I'm moving, I'm, am I endangering any of you guys? No. So if you guys were my kids in the car and I'm getting carjacked at a gas station, we got it on. I'm gas station ready all the time, right? Just like you guys are. What just happened? We were able to get it on. I endangered nobody else but this fool. You won. Even though I went here and here, we can exaggerate it even more. We can do this with a heavy bag. <clears throat> okay. 
Alright, All right, let's go. Next group up. Let's do it, man. One. Two. Check the board line to the target. Nothing in between you guys, right? Fart. Check your target. Recover. Go to the one. Go to the two. Check the bore line to the target. Nothing in between you guys, right? Heart! How's that target looking? Should be consistent. We want consistency. Recover. One. Two. Check the bore line to the target. Heart! Check the target. Recover. One. Two. Check the bore line to the target. If it's clear, fire. And recover. All right. Do we have a consistent grouping happening now? Listen up, guys. Everything is consistent, correct? Right. Remember, what are we looking for? Consistency, it's the C word. Consistency and repeatability. I can pull this off. Hopefully you're not getting in a gunfight drunk, but I can pull this off in an altered state. I can pull this off upside down in a 360 zero G environment. I can get this on. If I have them attached to me, they're gonna get hurt. Make sense? Because yeah. I know from doing this that I can repeatedly put rounds right where I want them to go due to my index I'm building right now. Make sense? Yes. Cool. Let's jump. Here we go. I'm going to tell you to draw. When I say draw, you're going to go to what? The two. You go to the two, you're going to check the bore line. All I'm going to say is draw and fire. You guys are going to do the other checklist, right? You're going to hit the other points of the checklist. Make sense? All right, let's go. Draw! Fire! And recover. How about yes, sensei? <laughs> Go! Recover! Draw! Recover! See where his gun is? See where my hands are. Can I grab his gun? I can touch it, but it's going to hurt. <laughs> Last thing ever That's what I want you to check in your head. Did my step get me appropriately away from the threat? Here's what typically happens is guys take steps like that. But what do we see when guys are really getting it on and they're trying to make space? They don't do this. They look like they're at the NFL combine going there. Yeah, they're getting it on. Okay? So don't be those dudes. Remember the way you walked earlier. Yeah. In order to be controlled with your, your gun, you had to walk deliberately, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing here. I'm backing up, but yep. he's paying for it. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be it. So one more time from the holster. I'm going to go right there. And here's what I'm going to do because I have confidence in you guys because you've been rocking. I'm going to tell you to step. Watch what's going to happen. Shooter ready? All right. Drop. He's coming to the two. He's going to fire. And he's going to go to work. I did a little extra. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I did a little extra. He had a <laughs> All right. You know, always give him extra. You know. All right. You guys got it? All right. That's how it's going to go down. Make sense? Hell yeah. yeah okay. Any concerns? Say it now, man. Don't bitch later. How many rounds? What? Total. How many rounds total? It's going to be four, right? Yeah, four rounds total. One, yeah, it's single stack two, friendly. Three, unless it keeps four. coming at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's it is isn't it is intentionally single stack and J frame friendly. Draw. I'm not gonna steal it. Fire. Stop. 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 Draw. Take your time, man. Don't. You move Fire.
Recover. Recover. Are you guys fighting? Back up on the target. Draw. Fire. Recover! This time, I'm gonna say draw, I'm gonna say fire, you're gonna move on your own. Draw! Fire! Draw! Fire! Draw! Badasses, you're off the line. Next crew up. Next line up. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna say draw. I'm gonna say fire. What happens between draw and fire? No. Yeah, that's between draw and fire, right? Then you move. All right. Are you gonna move on your own? Yes. Yes. You're gonna move on your own. You're going to fire at least three rounds, right? As you take a step back with each one, as you gradually extend the pistol, based on what? Proximity of the target. How close is that guy? I'm getting away from him, so it's okay for me to push that pistol out. Make sense? Pushing myself away. Got it? All right. Ready? Draw! Fire! Recover! Draw! Fire! up if you're out of ammo that's okay run it dry draw fire draw fire and recover Cover. Last one. Last one, best one. Last one, best one. Who wants to say it with me? Ready? Last one, best one. Yeah. Drop. Awesome. All right, guys, recover. Holster up. All right, we are complete. Our, our training is complete. We are finished training. They need empty guns. Okay. You guys fall back, cock your mag. Fall back and cock your mag. Doesn't get much sweeter than this. 
The Diamondback HD Series truck topper can hold over 2,000 pounds up on the top here, secure, watertight, and it looks freaking really nice. This is the third one of these I've had, only because I get different trucks. I drive like crazy and, and uh, literally wear the trucks out. We're about to watch us put it on. I went to my friend Steve's uh, auto body shop. Not that you're not capable of doing it in your own driveway or garage. We went there because we had nice lighting and could film it. You're gonna see how easy it is to install. You're gonna see some footage I shot while driving in a torrential downpour at highway speeds. Made in America, made with pride. I love them, keeps my stuff dry. Here we go.